Welcome to the shooting show. This week it's rabbit shooting mania as Stuart Wilson heads out with the ATN Excite on a Coney Control mission. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Plan. I fetched a little browning T-bolt with the Excite 2 and uh, various illuminators and bits and pieces. So we're walking or we're going to vehicle it? Uh, we're going to do a mixture tonight. What we're going to do is, to start with, I'm going to take you around in the Jeep. So what I've done is I've brought my 17 Hornet. It's set up for about 200 yard. Yeah, so you've got so, a good amount of reach there. Yeah, so yeah. the patches where it's too wet to drive. I'm hoping that I can stretch like and get in with them. And right, shoot okay. Them. So we might do a bit of work off the sticks with them. Yeah. Second round. So we'll get set up in truck. We're going to chuck this camera on top of the roof um, with an infrared illuminator on top of it as sort of scout about and spot. Use the headlights a little bit to find the rabbits, yep. and then I've set a monitor up in the cab so Liam can see what I can see with the camera. But then I'll also have an illuminator on the side of the of the X site. Um, I'm using the Dragonfly Illuminator because um, I, I find the focus is better with the Excite leaving this front um, aperture on. It's got like a half inch hole down it. Um, I think the focus is much better. Um, so I've overloaded it with the IR with the Dragonfly and, and the camera just adjusts. You'll see when the standard Illuminator is on the camera it'll pick the rabbit up quite nicely but then you'll see the central laser of the dragonfly come in and it really sort of picks the illumination up but that's really only because um, I like a nice sort of as sharp an image as I can get out of the X site. Popping out of the top of the truck gives Stuart a good arc of fire from an elevated position. He loads the browning t-bolt with Winchester subs as Liam sets off for the first likely area. Liam gets Stuart nicely into range of the first rabbits. A really close rabbit has no idea that the infrared illumination has given its position away to Stuart and his ex sight. Picking the rabbits as they go slows the pest control exercise a little, but the rabbits will not go to waste.
as the last of Stuart's rabbits are gathered up, let's have a quick look at the shots recorded on the ATN Excite. So that's first round done and Stuart's had 15 wet 22 and ATN on. I've had him out at roof, I've drove him around but now we're going to go on to the 17 on it and stretch out the legs a bit for the further bunnies that we couldn't reach with 22. The 1-7 Hornet really packs a devastating punch. After a few hours and a good few bunnies bagged, it's time to leave the rabbits alone until the next visit. And with the final rabbits picked up, it's time to see who bagged the most. So, done and dusted. Um, I ended up with 15 that we picked, so uh, how many did you end up with? 17. Yeah, it's just sods all that, isn't it? Like, struggled a little bit with some of the wind as we came. Off this back wood side, the bit that was pushing over the yeah, hedge. Down in and you reckon it was pushing my shot ever slightly over to the right. Um, so, operator error there, maybe should have had quite a few more. But um, we've had a good uh, trudge about. And last sort of rundown, we had a go with your uh, 17 Hornet. Yep. Just tell us a little bit about what your setup is. It's a CZ 17 yep. Hornet in a 527 FOMO. Yep. I'm um, running a Photon by PBIR yep. with uh, one of their new XLR uh, IRs. Yeah. It's not a bad illuminator. It's very clear. Yeah. And, I don't uh, think it's as bright as the Dragonfly, but you reckon the Dragonfly washes yours out a bit? Yeah, it's not as bright, but it's clearer. Yeah. So, to me, that means more. Yeah, there were 250, some of them. Yeah. So, um, yeah. a lot of them were head shots. Yeah. So, if I'm head shooting at 250 yards, with factory yeah, ammo as well. That's good enough, isn't it? That does me. Yeah, yeah. No, yep. it's been a great night. Um, I'm ready for my scratcher. We'll yep. probably talk each other to death tonight, but 
no Job problem. done, mate, and thanks very thanks much. Thanks for coming again. Stuart and Liam enjoying a productive session there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Shooting organisations have been heard on the world stage talking about the use of lead ammunition and the illegal killing of birds. Matt Ellis of Basque spoke at the Convention on Migratory Species in Manila last week. He told delegates that an evidence-based approach was the only way forward. There was a good outcome for hunters from the convention as FACE, the European umbrella body for hunters, will now be part of a lead task force that aims to promote public awareness of the use of lead shot. We've had an update from the British shooting show team, with barely three months to go until the show returns for 2018. Organisers have now started site visits to the show's new location at the NEC in Birmingham. They've said it offers huge potential and should give the show more of an international feel than ever. The show comes to its new home on the 16th to the 18th of February. Get your tickets now from shootingshow.co.uk. A new elite competition for the Olympic shotgun disciplines will take place next year. The shotgun series, backed by British Shooting, will come to several of the UK's best Olympic venues across May, June and July. And it'll conclude with a grand final at Faux Degla, much like the final we saw just a few weeks ago this year. All these events will be part of the international selection process as we move towards Olympic qualifying. British Shooting said the full selection policy will be released later this month. And finally, do you know how much your old guns are worth? Basque has urged shooters to check the value of any unwanted guns ahead of a police firearms surrender campaign, which kicks off a week today. Basque's Bill Harriman warned that participants could end up handing in guns that are legally owned and valuable. If you're unsure about the value of the guns in your possession, get in touch with the firearms team using the contact details on screen now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.